This is lesson 7-6, which is translating trigonometric functions. Our essential question is, how can you find and use translations of graphs of trigonometric functions? So the first thing says, how can you identify a horizontal translation from the rule of a trigonometric function? So how does changing the value of h affect the graph of y equals 2 times sine of x minus h? So we have done enough with functions for this to be familiar, hopefully. So we've looked at things with a, h, and k. So if you think about previous functions that you've looked at with the h, this follows the same rule. So the only difference is we call this a phase shift instead of just a horizontal shift. So, but it is a horizontal translation. So if we have x minus h, that's going to shift our graph to the right. And if we have x plus h, that's going to shift our graph to the left. So again, that's why I did this type of video so that we can see on Desmos. So you can type y equals 2 sine of x. So here's our original function. And if I click on this one, this is x minus pi over 2. So you can see that our 0, 0 point is now at pi over 2. So we shifted to the right pi over 2. Okay, that was a phase shift. And then I can also show this one, which is the green. And you'll notice this is a shift to the left pi over 2. So it's just like every other function that we've talked about where minus is going to move it to the right and plus is going to move it to the left. Okay, so example 2 says to graph a sine or cosine function. So how can knowledge of transformations help us sketch the graph of y equals 2 sine of x over 2 plus 3? So I like to make a little list of all the things. So our amplitude here is 2. The period is 2 pi over b. And our b value in this case, you have to think about what's in front of the x. It'd be 2 pi divided by 1 half, which is going to give us 4 pi. And then that plus 3 at the end is going to be a shift up 3. So I'm going to sketch this here, and then I'll show you on Desmos how we can put this in. So I like to always graph my original function. So my original um, function of just plain y equals sine of x, I know that I'm going to cross at pi and pi over 2. I know my new graph is going to go out to 4 pi over 2, so that's why I'm going all the way out there. So my original gra graph of sine is going to go up to 1, back to pi, down to negative 1, and back to 2 pi. So that's my sine of x. Now, when I shift up 3, you have to think we're shifting that midline. So that 0 line, we're shifting up to 3. So I'm going to put kind of a new, this is not an asymptote, this is just kind of a guideline for me. I'm going to change my color too. So my new graph is going to go up, down, and back to my starting point by 4 pi. So that means we're going to end up at the midline, start at the midline at 0 pi, end at 4 pi, and I'm going to be touching it halfway in between at 2 pi. Now my new amplitude is 2, so that means it's going to go up 2 and down negative 2. So that would be my graph of this 2 times sine of 2 sine of x over 2 plus 3. So just to kind of give us some examples here. So this is 2 sine of x over 2 plus 3. I'm going to graph my y equals sine of x so we have something to go by. So you can see my graph's not perfect, but it does show a similar graph to what we can graph on Desmos. So the nice thing about Desmos, too, is you can always click on your points. You can see where you're hitting your x values, your minimums, and your maximums. It'll click all of those. Okay?
And our last example is analyzing the functions to talk about the key features. So part A says y equals 4 cosine of 3x plus 1. And we're finding all the different parts of our graph. So the amplitude, oops, let's go back to our... So amplitude would be 4 in this example. Our period of this graph would be 2 pi over b, and my b is 3. So it'd be 2 pi over 3 would be the period. And I would have a shift of the graph up 1. So we can tell those different transformations. So now part B, I'm going to have an amplitude of 3. I also need to address that negative out front. That means I'm going to have it reflect over the x axis. Then the period in this case, notice I do not have a number in front of the x value. So the period just stays what our parent function is, which is 2 pi we're going to have a phase shift okay? because we have plus pi over 2, so that means we're going to be moving to the left pi over 2. And finally, we have a vertical shift that's going to move it down 2. So just like our previous functions, we can predict what the graph will look like based on the properties and the different a, H, and K values of our functions. Okay, so that is our translations of the graph. Let me know if you have any questions.